97. Crozen's already got the bucket and the water and the Gatorade or whatever else oh, they yeah. had in there, and he's soaking wet on a uh, lovely night, although we did have some miss falling earlier, but it's uh, very nice right now at the Coliseum. Well, he really put together a nice game plan, and, you know, this is, uh, you know, he's done this before. He's come out and not not been conservative, come out with a nice, nice aerial package to complement their great running game, and, Now Birmingham's players are exhorting their student body who's here to witness this, uh, to cheer and make noise. And it's a time of celebration in the San Fernando Valley. Lake Balboa will be a parade probably on Ventura Boulevard lake for the champions. That's Encino. That's Encino, Randy. I don't know. Well, they put a lake they're in they're right the at Balboa team. and Victory in the heart <laughs> oh, of the San Fernando Valley. Birmingham, three titles in five years, 45 to seven for Ed Crozen and his Patriots. That's all you can say. Ah, you got to be, you got to be excited for. Uh, you know what do they do for an encore? They got, they got everybody coming back, but the quarterback. Now and, we can talk about Bell you know, like, and, and Knox and everybody, but yeah. let, let's not overlook the defense, which shut everybody oh. down in the tournament. No, I mean you, you, you hold uh, opponents to. What did I say? 26 points in the last eight weeks. Four of those being playoff games. Uh, you talk about winning in November or winning in December and putting it all together when you need it. And, uh, yeah, you can't underestimate what a great defensive plan was put in place tonight by Jim Rose, a defensive coordinator, to hold that, hold that great rushing offense in check. The Patriots had the ball 16 and a half minutes in the second half. Remember, it's only a 24-minute game, and they had it almost the entire time. 22 to 10, first down for the Patriots. 175 to 132 in rushing, 289 yards in the air. That's all James fell off. Two of them to number one. Chandler, 40 yards on the first one. All dominating numbers, 66 to 39 in plays. Knox, 30 carries, 132 yards, and three touchdowns. There's Joe Chavez, the one touchdown for the Pirates. Belloff, 75% tonight for number seven. 15 of 20 for 289 yards and two scores. And Willie Chandler was his favorite target. Seven receptions, 156, and the two long touchdowns of 40 and 45. Here's that second touchdown to Milton Knox, where really the play wasn't executed well, but he made it happen from short distance. And what a performance by Birmingham throughout. And Knox, well, well, the clear, backbreaker to begin the second half. You mentioned half. it, the long, the long touchdowns were on... on through the air for Birmingham. And if you looked at it, if you try to put together a, a game plan to stop Birmingham, you say, let's not give up a big play to Milton Knox. And they really didn't. But in doing that, they created some opportunities in the secondary to complete some balls and make big plays. And, and you need a, you know, Belloff took advantage of that and was really just, uh, as far as I'm concerned, the star of the game, I mean. Well, that, the number said 15 of 20, 289 yards, and those two touchdowns to Willie Chandler. That's going to wrap up our championship coverage. Birmingham wins the number one seed, goes through and finishes up the season 11 and 3. San Pedro 12 and 2 is the runner up. The Patriots prevail 45 to 7, three titles in five years for Ed Crozen's Pats. For our entire LA 36 and KLCS crew, for Greg Badavinick, who did our stats tonight, and John Mazur, who helped us with the analytical work, I'm Randy Rosenbaum. So long from the Coliseum, let's salute these Patriots. They are the champions of the city section.